you're watching 8-bit days a week I'm gonna be playing an older shoot 'em up but not that old I guess this is uh, like late 80s and this is Twin Eagle I do think this came out for the Mega Drive uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong was it Mega Drive or Maybe PC Engine or the Famicom? No, I don't think this came out for the Famicom. Uh, definitely not on this Super NES though. So I'm going on a rampage now. Destroying everything I see. Um... Graphics hasn't aged well though. Like uh, the backgrounds look like a messy work of um, well, it ha it does look really like a vintage title. So I guess it depends on how you look at it. But uh, to me, actually, it looks like. Um, do you know those old PC VGA games? No, not even VGA, uh, more like... What do you call it? I'm trying to recall. CGA? Anyhow. Uh, gameplay is okay. It's your shoot 'em up and looks like this has two player so that should be a fun bonus I actually have a USB uh, OTG uh, but I don't think it's, it works so I still cannot play two player on uh, the classic Ah, I'm sent back on a, I guess, a checkpoint. How come that ship that sends uh, the power-ups just flies really fast? Can't you just use that instead? And get straight to the boss and destroy whoever the enemy's leader is. Anyway, just nitpicking there. Just wondering why, if you're with the good guys, you have access to that kind of um, technology. Why not use it to your advantage? Or maybe my mission is to destroy everything. Ugh. Oh, that, those missiles are fast. Oops. case of pressing select and start simultaneously brings you to the retro arc menu there but select is your insert coin start is your start button all right getting terrible at this game anyway um, I think that should be it for this video um, it's for shoot em up fans only I guess Unless you maybe have some nostalgic value with this game, you played it on uh, Mega Drive before. This is Twin Eagle. You are watching 8 bit days a week. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.